for me, you know, it is, you know, I'm always two, three weeks away from being in great shape because, you know, I'm training all year round. And one of the things I've learned through wrestling is if you train all year round, you can be ready to go in two to three weeks. And uh, for this fight, you know, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, when they called me and said, you know, you, you have the chance to be co-main event, I didn't think twice about it. And, you know, I accepted the fight. Hopefully he makes weight. So if he doesn't make weight, then I take 20% of his money <laughs> and I give him an ass beating anyway. So he loses twice. I personally know that, you know, he does, this kid doesn't want to fight me. He's, he said it. You know, if he wants to fight anybody out of our gym, it's Swick. And, uh, you know, I know that uh, he's told DOC that he doesn't want to fight me. He told his, his manager he didn't want to fight me, and he's told his training, trainers that he didn't want to fight me. But, you know, DOC forced him to fight me and said, this is your punishment for not making weight. So, um, you know, I, I, like to, I like to, you know, live up to my end of the, the part on behalf of the UFC and punish him. <laughs> Shit. Next year, my plan is to fight 12 times. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I know the UFC, I, you know, the rumor is they're going to have a lot of shows next year, and if I can fight one a month, shit, I'm going to be on tour next year. I'm going to be like rock star, you know. The Josh yeah, Koscheck different, tour. Different city every month, man. You know, <laughs> I, I would literally want to fight 12 times next year. You, you'd have to make the shirt with every city you're going to. Yeah, that's fine with me. But, you know, that's my goal next year. 2010, I want to fight 12 times. You're going to turn into Travis Fulton. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm, I'm going to turn into the new job. I want to have the record for the most wins in the UFC. I want to have the most fights in the UFC history. You know, I want to be that guy. You know, I want to be the guy that, hey, they pick up the phone and they call me. They guarantee I'm going to say, yeah, I'll fight. One uh, call you haven't got yet is to fight Matt Hughes. You know, you guys have all been calling him uh, out. You know, let's not even go there. He doesn't want to fight anybody from here. You know, so that probably isn't going to happen. So, you know, and the, and the fans that are disappointed that that fight's not going to happen can blame it on him, you know. He, he's still, you know, the most dominant welterweight champion of all no, time. Or, or no, no. <laughs> you know, uh, he's still uh, one of the top 170 guys in terms of name recognition. So it's still a fight you'd like, right? Yeah, of course. But is he going to do it? No. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's pointless to even talk about it. He, mm -hmm. He's not going to fight me. He's not going to fight Swick. Uh, he might fight Swick. He might not. He, I know he's not going to fight me or Fitch. I know that for a fact. But you know, I don't think he's even going to fight Swick. You know, mm -hmm. so it's pointless for us to even talk about Matthews. I know that uh, you know there's talks of me fighting St. Pierre next. So um, you know, uh, I just got to get past uh, Anthony Johnson, which you know UFC 106. I plan on doing that, and I plan on fighting St. Pierre next for the title. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, there's talks of me fighting other people, but you know, I want St. Pierre, I want that belt, and, you know, that's, that's where the real money is, and, and that's where, you know, um, you take that next step is uh, getting a chance to fight George St. Pierre. Josh Koscheck!